Well, Election Day, now just 13 days away in Spokane County, voters are being asked to approve two controversial measures. Measure one would increase the sales tax to help fund a new jail. Proposition one would make it illegal to camp near certain places in the city of Spokane, like schools and daycares. Robin Nance explains why some are against this plan. Voters in Spokane are being asked to decide on whether the city should tighten parameters around where homeless people can camp. Spokane City Proposition 1 would not allow encampments within 1,000 feet of any public or private school, public park, playground, or licensed child care facility. Right now, city code simply doesn't allow for camping underneath or within 50 feet of any railroad viaduct in downtown Spokane and within three blocks of a homeless shelter. Prop 1 would change that. It would also make it illegal to leave personal camping items and equipment within 1,000 feet of schools, parks, playgrounds, and daycares. Those arguing for this measure say homeless camps bring issues with drugs, crime, indecent exposure, sexual assault, and other crimes, and that Prop 1 will keep children safe from these types of crimes. They also say it will help keep community spaces healthy and clean and would save taxpayer dollars because the city wouldn't have to clean up mounds of litter, human waste, and dangerous drug paraphernalia. They want you to vote yes on Prop 1. Now, those arguing against Spokane Prop 1 say it vastly limits where homeless people can go and puts vulnerable communities at risk of sweeps and incarceration. They refer to this map with an overlay of where people would be allowed to camp, only the areas that are shaded in green. The opposition says the proposition is likely to create more situations like Camp Hope because of the limited spaces homeless people are allowed, driving those people into neighborhoods that do not have the capacity to assist them. The opposition wants you to vote no on Spokane City's Proposition 1.